Hello, uh, my name is Lewis Buxton. I am a writer. I write poetry and theatre shows, and um, I've been doing that for the last 10 years. I live here in Norwich, and I work a lot with the Norwich Theatre Royal. So we're doing a project at the moment called 37 Plays, The Young Carers Workshops. And every week, starting in September, uh, we're going to meet on a Saturday between 11 and 1 p.m. And together, we're going to write a play. We don't know what that play is going to be about yet. That play could be about a, a football team in Norwich fighting for promotion. It could be about an elderly couple who go to the theatre every Saturday and eat dinner beforehand. Um, it could be about aliens arguing over a new political system. We don't know. It's all going to come from uh, the young people that we work with. And uh, they're going to work with me, we're going to work together to share ideas, um, to create new stories. We're going to look at character, we're going to look at setting, we're going to look at how to write a script, and we're going to put it all together and um, we're going to submit it to the Royal Shakespeare Company and, fingers crossed, um, it's then going to be performed by uh, some professional actors and uh, these young people are going to see their words come alive on stage. There will be so many different kinds of activities that we do. I like to do stuff that gets people up on their feet, so we'll do stuff uh, like everything from playing silly games like Would You Rather and Two Truths and a Lie to uh, answering questions like uh, What is better, skateboards or lasagna? Everything uh, will be up to you whether you want to join in or not. And I think the good writing comes from sort of two different places. Sometimes it comes from having a really like constrained and, and following loads of rules, um, a bit like Shakespeare following his ten syllables per line and, and making certain things rhyme and certain things not. So that's one way. The other way of um, like writing a good story, telling a good story, producing a good script is, is to be completely free. So all the activities will be a bit of both. Some of them will have really tight rules, like sort of silly games, and some of them will just, I'll just ask you to write, and, um, and you can join in with whichever bit of them you want. They're designed for all abilities. Anyone can join in, whether you have already written like 12 plays and they've been performed at your school or college or university, or if you have never picked up a pen to write a story. So creative writing, for me, is my way of understanding the world. Perhaps more important, it's a way of the world understanding me. I don't understand a lot of things about this world, um, and I'm fairly certain the world finds me peculiar. So uh, creative writing, the space to tell a story or to maybe even more simply ask a question is so vital to kids, to teenagers, to young people, but also as an adult, it's absolutely vital that we don't think that we know all the answers, that we can use writing to explore new worlds, new stories, new ideas, um, and to express ourselves. So I think that creative writing is vital. Lewis Buxton's top three tips for anyone who wants to write something are thus. Number one, actually write. Whether you are writing absolute rubbish um, and you're just like uh, spewing words onto a piece of paper like you're vomiting out your brain, that's fine. Actually start writing something down because otherwise you'll just be paralyzed by that, ter that um, terrifying blank white page. Um, uh, my second tip is to read. Like, if you're stuck for ideas, go and read something, whether it's a book or a newspaper or, um, and by reading I also mean watching, right? Whether it is watching a film or going to see a play or finding something odd on YouTube that you think is interesting. So writing, reading, and thirdly, being silly. Like, too many writers take themselves seriously. 
by all means take the work seriously, but don't take yourself seriously. Like, allow yourself to be silly, allow yourself to be strange, allow yourself to be whatever peculiar, unique human being you are. Because if you allow yourself to do that, then your work will be peculiar and unique and perfect, all on its own. I am really looking forward to hosting 37 plays uh, for young workshops for young carers. I'm so excited to be doing that every Saturday to know that I'm going to be here between 11 and 1 p.m. that um, I will get to meet young people, that I'll get to hear their stories, and most importantly, that we'll be able to share snacks. Um, that'll be the same every week, and I really hope you.